Hello everyone, I'm Wen Jin and I'm here to talk to you about my research topic which is related to membrane technology. This day, membrane technology has been used in our daily life. Have you noticed that water filter installed in your housing area? Now, that sand filter has been gradually replaced by membrane filter. It is due to membranes are able to achieve high filtration quality. And you may wonder about what is meant by high filtration quality. Let me explain to you. During the formation of membranes, pores will be formed and depending on the size of the pores, they can be classified into micro, ultra and nano filtration membrane. So components smaller than the membrane pore size can pass through the membrane, while larger components are retained. Hence, with the smaller pore size, membrane can filter more sediments and particulates which increases the filtration quality. And ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to mention, other than water purification, membrane technology also can be used for water desalination and wastewater treatment process. I believe that you all are familiar with Nestle company. Starting from 2017, they started to apply membrane technology in their wastewater treatment plant. By comparing to the conventional wastewater treatment, membrane system combines all the functions into a single system. It offers few benefits, which include smaller footprint, high removal efficiency, low energy requirement, and low capital cost. However, a coin has two sides. There are some limitations and challenges that prevent the adoption of membrane technology, which is membrane fouling. To make it understandable as possible, membrane fouling is basically the blocking of a membrane during the filtration. During the filtration process, when the water passes through the membrane, there are some components will be attached at the membrane surface or in the membrane pores. So, as more and more membrane pores are being occupied, lesser amount of water can pass through the membrane which will affect the separation performance and reduce its productivity. So, to prevent membrane fouling, one of the methods is that we can add an additive to improve the membrane characteristic. Other than this, the other topic what we are concerned about is the environmental impact of membrane production on marine ecotoxicity and human carcinogenic. The main material to form a membrane is so-called polymer and it will not able to be dissolved in water. So, a specific solvent is required in order to dissolve the polymer. The most common solvent that used for membrane formation, which including N-methylpyridine, dimethylformamide, and so on. Well, actually these solvents are hazardous to the environment or human. Therefore, in my research, I'm focused on the utilization of green solvent as a strategy to replace the traditional solvents for sustainable membrane production. The green solvents mean they are made from renewable resources and less toxic. Besides, the characteristic and performance of membrane are also important to be determined as well. So in this project, cellulose acetate was used as polymer, methylated, as solvents and deep butadiene solvent as additive. There are four samples with different concentration of DES are prepared. With the start of the experiment, the mixture of the chlorine, chloride, and urea is heated and stirred continuously. The deep butadiene solvent is formed when the mixture becomes a colorless liquid. After that, cellulose acetate, methylated, and deep butadiene solvents are added into a beaker. The mixture was being heated and stirred continuously until the solution became a clear solution. After this, the clear solution was poured onto a glass plate and the solution was spread by a casting knife and the glass plate was then immediately put into the water bath. After that, the cellulose acetate membrane was formed. Next, the membrane was cut into different sizes and shapes to carry out the testing in order to evaluate its characteristic and performance. And these are the testing will be performed. So after finish the testing in overall membrane performance, the cellulose acetate membrane with the presence of 4% DES demonstrated the excellent improvement in several categories which are contact angle, porosity, and pure water floods. And in this study, all objectives were achieved and cellulose acetate membrane was successfully fabricated with the presence of DES. So in the end of the video, I will say that we will not save the world, but we hope to contribute a little. And thank you for watching the video.